want to know what to wear to a work dinner or holiday party stay tuned and find out hi everyone sharon here age vest restyling thank you so very much for joining me today now i made a promise that i was going to share with you some recommendation to wear for the holidays and i'm going to, to this video is going to particularly focus on work event a dinner or a party or something like that <sighs> yeah i'm gonna be honest with you i'm tired <laughs> i am exhausted but i made a promise that i was gonna do this video and i am gonna stick to it so because i'm not feeling a hundred percent i'm only going to show three complete outfit and if at all possible if time permits i'll do another video um maybe towards the end of the week and i'll definitely do one for a new year's new year's eve outfit the auditors are here and it's busy <laughs> so anyhow so let's get started with some outfits that i might wear to um a company's holiday dinner or party as a matter of fact my company's having a um a holiday dinner and I have to figure out what I'm going to wear. I have no idea. And that holiday dinner is in three days. So, <laughs> but let me show you with you some outfits. So the first one is, it's the holidays. So y'all know I got to come out with some little shimmy. <laughs> I mean, what other time of year can we have fun with dressing and shine like a diamond? So I have this top and this top is um who is this top by i thought i saw the name oh yes this top is uh dana buckman and it's actually dana buckman woman but i'm gonna style it because y'all know this is thrifted and y'all know i never look at size when i'm thrifting okay <laughs> and this one is ann taylor and then i'm gonna add this tuxedo jacket and y'all know all my tuxedo jackets are thrifted. So I'm going to style this outfit up with the shoes, accessories, and so forth. And then I'll come right back. Ooh, okay, the outfit is on. What do y'all think? <laughs> so this is an outfit that I would most definitely wear to a company's Christmas event. Let's add some earrings. So I'm going to add this. vintage earring that I've had forever in a day just to give some shine at the top and I like it see and then I would add a silver bag now I brought I have a thing for vintage bags and I, I used to collect them so I brought some of my vintage clutch bags in and I believe in just, you know, just being a little bit different from the crowd because everybody may have that same little bag that's trending, but you just pop out one of these and to just be a little bit different. And you know, I like being different. So this is one of the outfits that I, I would do, you know, I don't believe in going out. Don't go out and buy anything. Look in your closet to see what you have and see what you could work with, mix and, and match. I'm sure you guys got plenty of stuff in your closet that you can work with. And I really believe that during the holiday time is a time when you can just really make your personality shine through. You know, just, just have fun with it. I added mine. These are my Aldo um, sock booty and I, with my tights my little vintage silver bag earrings and this is the outfit i absolutely love it i would have no problem wearing this outfit to my company dinner or holiday party it says i'm here to have fun but i still but i think i look appropriate and my you can see my personality this is sharon this is sharon's personality that is shining through what do you think of the first outfit? I absolutely love 
this. And I love the, um, the sequins in the top and the skirt. They don't match completely. But I think they work together. The tunic over the um, short skirt. And then adding this tuxedo jacket. And just my earrings. No other accessory is needed. I think this, this just works. I'm being pulled right here. Yeah. <laughs> Did I pull it down? I think one of my sequins got caught in something. <laughs> just make sure that sequins don't get caught in something. Okay. And I think this works. What do you think? So this is outfit number one. Now outfit number two, in case this dress it's just a little bit, this dress, this skirt is just a little bit too short for some of you. Even though you have the opaque tights on, you know, let's try this with a longer sequence. This navy blue with this black velvet jacket. What's more elegant than black and navy blue? I think black and navy blue is extremely elegant. So let me put this outfit on and I'll be right back okay the second outfit is on so I'm wearing this wonderful velvet jacket with this navy blue sequin skirt and a navy blue cami and I added navy blue hosiery with this navy blue nine west pump I love black and navy blue together it's it just looks very elegant to me so now with this outfit i have this necklace that i think is will be perfect with it i like the all the little bobbles on there if i can ent untangle it it would be good okay here we go. See? I think this will be beautiful with this. Now, y'all notice I never put necklace on on camera because I struggle with it. But let's see if I can get this one on. See, it's already tangled up again. Ah, uh, come on. Let's see if I could get this one on without much of a struggle. Here's hoping. Well, it's still a little tangled, but you could get the gist of it. I think this works perfectly with this neckline. And I pulled some earrings that we could test out with it. I kind of like this one. Let's get it out of the bag. I kind of like this one with the blue in it but let me see how it would look with the necklace i think it overpowers the necklace but let's try this one here is this one let's see i think this one will work better so let's put this one in yeah, this one works better with the necklace. Yeah, this one works better with the necklace. See this one? And this is an outfit that I would wear to a company's holiday dinner or party. My sequence navy blue skirt the navy blue top this velvet jacket with some jewelry accessories in the top the bag now i think i would carry this clutch let's see yeah i like this clutch so this would be a look that i would wear a company's event what's your thought <laughs> so this is look number
number two. Now look number three. I brought a dress up. And this is a um, bijou, bijou dress that I've had in my closet forever, 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 forever. <laughs> so let me put this dress on and I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, the dress is on. Let me tell you something. There's nothing like a dress that has rouging in it. I love the color. I love the rouging. I added my um, Steve Madden silver sandals and I think they work perfect perfectly with this dress the rouging is very very forgiving long sleeves the color perfect all right i would add to zhuzh it up a bit some blingies let's see if i can even open this <laughs> right now okay there we go so i would just add on my arms this little bling bracelet look at that and then whoops I would add the earring and this would just gives it gives it some interest kind of puts it in the um holiday spirit with the bling bling Let's see can we hook this up yes yep the earring is what this dress needed it's what the dress needed let me put oh come on where are you okay there we go trying to stick it in the other hole okay perfect i mean didn't this earring just set it off i didn't it just work yeah this may be my my outfit for my company's dinner huh okay a bag again i will take this clutch this little clutch i think it worked perfectly with it what do you think i like this this is elegant and interesting okay <laughs> okay my friends so these are the three looks that i put quickly put together that i think that you can wear to your come to a company's event dinner or a holiday party i think any of the outfits that i showed here would work i hope you enjoyed today's video with the pieces that, that i selected i i only had the bandwidth of like three pieces as i told you guys my schedule has been very very hectic but i promised to do a video and i wanted to do it <laughs> i hope that i have the time to do another video with some more pieces another three or four pieces and i will definitely do one for um for new year's I think I've worked out my um, filming schedule. I think I'm going to upload Monday, Wednesday. I'm trying to determine whether it's Friday or Saturday, but definitely Monday and Wednesday. The third day is kind of like up in the air. I still haven't figured that one out yet. <laughs> so kind of just bear with me, and I, I really appreciate you guys. If you're watching and not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would greatly, greatly appreciate your support. And I want to thank you, my subscribers, from the depths of my heart, you guys. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, and everything. I told you guys about my hectic schedule, and I got it was overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it was so overwhelming the the warmth and you know that i got from you and i really really appreciate you i tell you my community rock 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 thank you so very much if you want to continue to support me thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up comment and share i always say find a reason to smile and my reason for smiling today is luke 5 16 and luke 5 6, 50, 5 16 says but jesus often withdrew to a lonely place and prayed and this reminded me that 
we need to find a special place that we can pray and have a conversation with God. I remember growing up, my mother had that place. And whenever she was there, we knew what she was doing and we knew not to disturb her. So when I read Luke 5, 16, it reminded me of my mother. It made me smile because I'm like, yep, that's what I grew up seeing. Mommy going in her little place to pray and have a conversation with our Lord. <laughs> so that's my reason for smiling today. You find your reason to smile. And until next time, this is Sharon saying, Bye-bye. <laughs>